everybody, I'm Elisa, and welcome to Polymer Clay TV. We had a question in Polymer Clay Tribe, which if you want to check it out on Facebook, it's polymerclaytribe.com, and they asked about how to do crackle finishes. And I know it's all the rage, you know, the vintage and, and you know, used up kind of look and, you know, rustic and weathered. And there's a lot of products on the market that you can use on polymer clay to get this look. So I wanted to tell you about my favorite one. There are, there are a lot, um, and we actually had compiled an ebook of all different techniques you can do with it and whatnot. But out of all of the, the different crackle mediums, I prefer the Ranger one. And this is the Distress Crackle paint, and it comes in three colors. It used to come in a, a multitude of colors, but they discontinued all the colors except for white, black, and then clear. However, the white can be colored any way you want. So you can mix a little acrylic paint into it to color it. You can add some alcohol inks to color it, pan pastels, whatever it is that you want to color with. Um, I tend to like the clear the most, and that's another one you could color too, but I don't know. I just, something about it I really like. And, and, um, I did a sample of each color on these so you could see, and the black is nice, but you really have to have a contrasting color um, to really get the full effect of it. Like I used copper as the base color for all, excuse me, for all of these. So the copper was the base, so no matter where the crackle ended up, you'd see the copper through it, which looks nice and it has, has a cool look. But there are, you know, there are certain, you know, times you might not want such a look. So you might try a different color or whatever. Just something to think about. Um, one of the things you'll find if you leave your crackle on too long, especially with the white I've discovered, uh, it'll start to flake off. So one of the ways that I've always rectified this was, number one, I don't leave it on too long and sit it aside and bake it a week later. Usually I'll get my crackle, make what I want to make, and then bake it. Then you don't have the chance of it just drying out even more and, and cracking off. However, I have a pretty old and, and crumbly, I mean pretty old and, uh, you know, dried up, as you can see, all the white falls off. Uh, so if you had a fresher one, you may not experience that as much. But if you do, what you want to do is, like I said, bake it soon after you make it but you can press the crackle with your finger you got to do it gently because you don't want it to stick to your finger and then you know you're losing the crackle give it a little push in there and it get it to adhere to the clay you know some might come off on your hand but you want to try and, and keep as much there as you can although i like it with with parts missing but that's the way i found to do it push it into the clay and uh you know, it'll go back down and bake it. So once it's baked, and these are not baked, just for instance, oh, and by the way, I used our brand new uh, 3D printed cookie cutters, and I used the shields. There's a three sets. There's the shields, which I did not end up using on here. Now that I look at it, I thought I had done a shield, but I just did the Moroccan uh, lanterns, which are these three here, um, and then there's hearts. So there's three different uh, 3D printed cookie cutters that I used, and, and we're coming up with a lot more. We've teamed up with this guy who has a 3D printer, and he had lost his job. He used to work with Kira, and so we're helping him out, and he's helping us out, and, and, it's, and it's really nice. So anyways, these are the cutters that I use to make these, just so you know. And they're available in our shop at createalong.com. So like I said, with the white, you can you can embellish on it and add the colors easily and so let's just do a little pan pastel and so you can see so you can I mean you could saturate it or you could kind of try to just kind of highlight some of that crackle and it's really as easy as as that I mean I I, I like to do the edges like a little darker and then you know go in lighter from there I like the way that looks I you know I don't worry about it so much with the with the uh, crackle coming off because I think it adds to it. But like I said, you know, there is a way to help remedy that. 
And then you can add as many colors as you want. You can, you know, just do what you want with it. And I'll show you um, in a second on a, this one's not even showing up, the copper. Because it's on copper clay, it's not wanting to show up. But you get the gist. So, um, really that's all there is to it, is, is paint it on, which we're going to do right now. But I just wanted to show you those so you can see the finished thing. So, the way I do it is I cut out my piece first before I add my, my uh, crackle medium. And so I... Pull this aside, and if there's anything that's not clean on here, I kind of clean it before I even take it out. But it looks pretty good. And you have the circle part to push it out. And as always, with any cookie cutter or whatever, you want to just clean up any edges that might be, you know, not to your liking, but this looks pretty good. So let me just close this here. And so it's as simple as taking it. I'm, I'm not going to do it with, well, let me do it with the white because you'll probably be able to see it better, even though it's so dry. Um, it, okay, so let me tell you one other thing about this crackle paint is it does dry out fast. So when you do get it, you want to use it and you want to make sure you seal it up good afterwards because it does like to dry out and you'll see all these crumbs come from that. So you want to put... A thin enough, a thick enough layer that you can get some nicely achieved crackle, but you don't want it too thick that um, it might actually flake off more. So that can be another factor too. If if it's on too thick, you can find that it's fl it flakes off more. And so you want to do your edges or whatever, just so you, the whole piece seems kind of uniform. And once I do this, I, I like to do it either on a piece of uh, deli wrap or, uh, you know, saran wrap or something so that I can easily, you know, remove it. Because I don't like to let it dry in the same place that I apply my Distress um, Crackle. Because it'll, it tends to stick, and when it sticks, it wants to pull the Crackle with it. So I just gently transfer it, usually, after I've done that, onto a cleaner deli sheet. As simple as that. So let me tell you one other thing. As your clay, as your um, crackle finish starts to dry, it's going to start, your clay is going to start to want to lift up. It's just the nature of it. Um, it always happens. It's want, your clay just wants to curl up. So not at this point, but when that starts to happen, you want to push it flat again. Because if you leave it to curl up all the way until it's completely dry, you're going to probably end up cracking uh, your crackle even more and pieces will fall off. Just something to think about because I, I, you know, I've noticed over time that that's exactly what happens. The clay wants to like come up and uh, curl in and so that's a tip there. <clears throat> Excuse me. That really all, is all there is to it. I mean, there, people think that it's such a hard technique but it really is so simple. Um, it's just a matter of making what you want and you, you don't have to do a flat piece like I'm doing here. It can be on a curved piece. It can, it can be on something, you know, like a, a, a glass piece. If you have a glass vase or whatever that you want to decorate with the clay and put some, add some crackle to it, you can, you can do it that way. You don't, ha it doesn't have to be flat to work with. So, which is nice the, you just paint it on wherever you end up, you know, putting it. I'm just touching up the edges here. I like to clean my edges good. And so let's, let me show you the black too. And you know, I've had these, I'd say, gosh, I probably a few years now, these crackle mediums. So, I mean, when I say they dry out, they do dry out, but not that, that crazy fast. Because like I said, I've had these a few years. And so let's do the black one. But you'll see, and you have to be careful because when it does dry out, it leaves you these lovely little pieces here, which is fine because I'm going to paint it black anyway, but you might want to get a paper towel or something. They do come with these brushes in them built in. At least they did when I bought these. I hate the brushes. I know it sounds like, you know, you'd want the brush, but I would much rather use my own paintbrush because I feel like the brush almost makes it gloppy -er, <laughs> if that makes sense. So if I had a, I know the big, I had a bigger size 
and the bigger size did not come with the brush. I had the bigger size in the clear one, which they call rock candy. And it did not do that. It did not, it did not have the, um, the brush in it, which to me, I prefer not to have the brush, but you know, that's, a, that's an own, it's my personal preference. I just think it makes it gloppy and you can't, you know, get as fine a, you know, area. I mean, certainly you could use the paintbrush by sticking it in there, but when you have a brush already in there, kind of don't really want to do that. Oh, look at what I did. I painted on the one that I cleaned it on. I put it on to clean it on. That was brilliant. Anyways, so you can see this is pretty thick. And you can thin it out and, you know, put some back into your jar if you feel like it's too thick. The thicker it is, I, like I said, you, the, you get a lot of crackle, but it also tends to want to lift up more. So that's something to think about. Um, like I said, that's it. There really isn't much to this technique. Um, you don't have to paint any paint on to your clay first. This can go straight on to raw clay. There's no need to paint anything on. The only one that you have to paint, well, I, I shouldn't say the only one, but the, the only one that I really know about that you actually have to paint with an acrylic paint before you use the crackle medium is the chroma crackle. That's the way that works. You cannot paint chroma crackle directly onto the clay and achieve crackle. It doesn't work. I've tried it, and that's not the way it's, it's built to, to work. So with a chroma crackle, which is just another brand, and it comes out of Canada, you have to you have to first condition your clay, roll it into whatever you want, and then you have to paint a layer of acrylic paint on. Let that dry completely. Then add the chroma crackle on top of that and let that dry completely. So it's a two-step process, whereas the you know, these ranger ones, you just straight out of the bottle can can paint it on and have crackle within literally a matter of hours, as long as it takes for it to dry on the clay. I do highly recommend you condition the clay really well. Um, when it's cold here, I find that the, the, that the clay wants to separate from the crackle more. But when it's saw, when it's, um, the clay is really conditioned well and it's warm outside, I, I, the clay, the crackle seems to meld with the clay better. You know, it's just some, it's just weather. And that's, it's, it's unfortunate that a lot of these products you know, it does depend on the weather, you know, for some of them. And this one, I found that to be the case. So just think about that when you're doing your crackle. And uh, I hope you enjoy seeing how all these different work, different ones work. The clear is just simply completely clear. As clear as it says, it just almost looks like a resin. You know, it's not. It's a crackle medium, but... It's completely clear. And like I said, you could, if you wanted to add color to these, you totally could. You could even add some micas into, some mica powder into the black. That would probably look really cool. Um, not in, I wouldn't put it in the jar. I'd, I'd mix it outside of the jar and, and play around with it if you want. So that's all there is to it. I hope uh, you'll share your crackles with me. We have a brand new app and it's completely free. You can find it on the iTunes store or you can find it in Google Play. Just download it for free. And you can access all of our things through there. You can access our Polymer Clay TV, our Polymer Clay Adventure Retreat, our shop. Um, we have something new in the works because we always do. So you will be able to access that through there. And there's a thing called a clay fee. And every month we're going to be having a challenge where you send in a picture that you created of your own, of your clay, your own clay creations. And you can stick your face in there if you want to. If not, you don't have to. <laughs> you know, that's totally optional. But send us a picture through the app under the clay, clay fee button, and you'll be entered to win. Um, once a month, we're going to do a drawing for a prize winner, and you'll win one of our new products that, you know, we have. And you'll get to choose, like, between a silk screen, maybe some cutters. Uh, we have some stencils we're getting ready to do, and... Lots more products. We have so much going on this year. It's unbelievable. So you can still join Polymer Clay Adventure all year long. There's 24 classes and it's a lot of fun. And some of the work that's coming out of there is unbelievable. So amazing. So definitely check out Facebook and uh, check my wall because I share a lot of, you know, the different things that people make in the, in the retreat. And definitely join PolymerClayTribe.com 
It's a free group on Facebook and we share all kinds of stuff, ideas, tips, ideas. And that's actually how this came to be. Someone wanted to know how to do the crackle and I said, I'll show you on Polymer Clay TV. And actually I did a live Facebook this week and so did Kira. And so I showed how to silk screen and Kira showed um, doing some interesting stuff with the cutters using saran wrap and things. And so you can still check those out in Polymer Clay Tribe. They're on the wall there. So thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.